Welcome back, everybody. This is East Guru, and we are playing Tales of Legendia. I want to welcome everybody back. This is going to be a very exciting episode because we're going to be walking through the flowers with this peaceful music. Actually, we're just uh, continuing where we left off um, from the previous episode. We're going to go ahead and finish this dungeon. See what's at the bottom of this hole. This giant, giant hole. And we'll probably fight a few epic bosses. And open a few treasure chests. Isn't that exciting? Oh man. Can't go through that little piece there. As is most all games, there's like some little tiny object, like a crack you know, in the ground, or there's like a stone and you can't actually walk through it or step over it? What the heck is with that? It's like, you know, why couldn't you just hop on over a rock? But no, you gotta walk around it. It's an obstacle. So yeah, a lot of these places are kind of cool looking, um, but you know, they're a little monotonous when you have to revisit them during the personal stories in this game, you have to revisit some of these places. And my holy bottle ran out. So, time to use some more. And I hope I'm going the right way. I think so. But yeah, we should have some exciting things coming up. And, um, of course, there's, you know, a lot of story scenes that I'm going to go ahead and remove. I'll leave in some of the, you know, important ones and funny ones or, you know, the famous ones. We're going to have to swim? Chloe doesn't like that idea. Since, as you recall, she secretly doesn't know how to swim. But trying to keep it a secret because she's an honorable knight and it's dishonorable to not be able to swim, apparently. Alright, but we are at the bottom of this place. And some interesting. No. Dock here, and instead, Will is interested in the bones. What kind of bones are these? I can't believe it. Why are you getting so excited, Wiruchi? Actually, the, the word she uses there in Japanese is also used for being sexually excited. But yeah, he's excited about the bones, apparently. And um, they belong to uh, 
you know, ancient beast or something called the Gran Gate. I'm not sure why it's called a gate. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. It was a long talk cutscene there, and since it sort of jumped us, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any chests. So this is interesting, we got a dock. And that guy sells stuff. And here we can take a rest. I always thought the sleep music in this game was really weird. Doesn't sound like they're having a very good sleep. Almost sounds like bagpipes. And now we've got this. Popo's number three. Which can go underwater. Of course, Chloe is not too happy about that. <laughs> Her little cough is so cute. So we're going to have to help him repair this uh, submarine. And we're going to use it to go in the secret, you know, route into the enemy's base. But before we do that, I gotta check out this suspicious cone here. I wonder what it could be. Why you're all just being quiet? <laughs> you wanted to say something rude, but he didn't. There's, you know, sad people like Mosuke in this world. It's like, where is it that I'm, you know, a sad, pathetic? Because you're stupid. Oh, that's so sad, Pan. <laughs> You're the number one. Um, it's so sad to be you, person. Hey, Ampan! Now I can make some Ampan Man Pan. Ah ha 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 ha. Wasn't that a great joke? Anpan Man Pan? If nobody knows, uh, Anpan Man is a very famous uh, hero. Uh, in Japan, very famous comic and a very famous uh, anime for younger, younger people, but pretty popular, pretty famous. So we're looking for a really good ivory bone or something that we can use to finish uh, making the um, the submarine. Yeah, that was a long talk, and suddenly a live one shows up. Hello, hello. And Norma's just trying to back away. And Moses being Baka. And she called him Baka Moske. I am the great Moses. He's looking for the Sojutsu. So if I defeat you, I'll get the Sojutsu power, right? So he's gonna show the beast his power by throwing a spear at it and making it mad. Thanks a lot, Moses, for picking a fight. Now, this boss can be pretty tough. Oh, 
シールドを手に入れてそれが戦いやるぜ私を真っ向だローハンが近づかれてスカイグランドゲート takes up half the screen Once again, I think I'll just take a nap for the rest of this battle on the ground. Spend 90% of the battle on the ground. Boy, I'm taking some serious damage. At least I poisoned him. Yeah, I think I'll keep my skills for now. I was gonna fight him ranged, but. Hey, we got a bunch of level ups or levels up. Level ups. Levels up. I wonder which way is better. Victory. So yeah, there was a scene there where we berated Moses for picking the fight, putting us all in danger. But hey, we've got our bone. So time to refresh with the weird music. Weird sleep music that sounds like we're having a nightmare. And then while they're working on the、uh, submarine, we've got a cutscene here, which is pretty important, so I left it in. A little bit of、uh, Sinel's background. So there's Shirley. Brother, this way, this way. I finally caught up with you. Stella and Shirley, you guys are really good at swimming. Yeah, we're good, don't you think? I don't think I could ever win against you. If you say that, then during the water ceremony, we're gonna have trouble. The water ceremony? What's that? Surely, tell him what it is. So, the water ceremony is where a guy and a girl make a promise for marriage. So, so what do you do? How is it done? The girl jumps into the water, and then the guy jumps into the water after her. Doesn't it sound romantic? After that, after that.
Take over for me, sister. She can't explain, it's too embarrassing. They become a couple under the water. And the light, you know, is proof of their love. And so it means they'll be happy together forever. Hey, sounds just like something the water, you know, people would do. Are you okay, Sinon? It's like you better not lose to any other men in the village with swimming skills. It's like, oh, you're gonna do some the ceremony with somebody, Sinon? You know? No, no. It's like, who are you going to do the ceremony with, brother? No. And there is where Shirley drowned Sennel. And his childhood was forever ruined. This uh, ceremony that they were mentioning, you know, that Mo Mosuke is asleep. That ceremony that they mentioned, you know, was in the introduction to the game. And I wanted to show real quick that you can cook bread here. Some people think in this game, you know, you got to go back to town every time. But there's quite a few different places you can cook bread. I found so there's one of them that uh, if you need to make some bread it's kind of unintuitive but in the back there there's a, apparently a stove which doesn't really look like a stove but here we go in our submarine He's going to give us extra advice. It's like, check out a wall that has a mark on it. Once you arrive, there should be a mark on one of the walls. Let's go! Have a safe trip, Ducky! It's a pretty cool looking sub. I dig it. Although I kind of feel sorry for Chloe. It's kind of funny there's a little picture there on the back wall of a couple of the Mofu Mofu. Since Sinnoh's good at driving and water stuff. Hey, there's a big fish. It's like a giant wall. Don't hit it. <laughs> Poor Chloe. Norma thinks it's thrilling. It's okay, it's not scary. Just take it easy. Relax. <laughs> Again. It's okay, it's not scary. And then there was you know, quite a bit of talking there, and then suddenly we've got a little bit of water leaking. And Chloe just noticed. It's like, was there water in here at the start when we began? It's like, I keep hearing this strange noise of water leakage. So that means that. 
水没しかかっている。We're taking on water. It's like, what? You're just suddenly telling us this dangerous thing now. Do something about it. And yeah, she's strangling him. Oh, thanks, Will. We're just gonna leave it to fate, huh? And hope we get there before we all drown. Oh. Chloe passed out. Hang in there. That was a bit too much for her. Thinking about drowning and being underwater. And there it goes. It sinks to the bottom. But we made it. Say goodbye to our cool submarine. Alright, so now we're in the ruins of Frozen Light. Kind of like the scale of some of these rooms. Looks really cool. You know, like, it feels like it's a gigantic room full of water. All right, we got epic dungeon music in a new dungeon. It looks like. So Norman's talking about when JJ mentioned to check out the wall with the seal on it or a strange mark. So Norma says, "Leave it to me." Of course, Norma knows how to open. Do you know? Giku. Uh oh. She doesn't know anything. Giku, Giku. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Love Japanese sound effects. We can't leave it to her. And she's just gonna kick it. And that's how it's done. <laughs> you just kicked it. Just guessing. She was just guessing. This place? We have been had, JJ. That jerk. Oh, this place seems familiar to me. That's because it is familiar, you idiot. All the pain and suffering we went through, it was all for nothing. So we were JJ's experiment, pretty much. <laughs> She's gonna teach JJ a lesson. Don't forget that there's the soldiers nearby, so we gotta be quiet. Basically, we're back where we started. If you remember, this is that spot where we were hiding and trying to figure out a way in. We can go back to town. 
but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go straight into this dungeon. So we need to just check out this wall to go back in. And let's see, this way I think is the guards. Yeah, so the guards are that way. So we can't go that way. It's a barrier. That way is the water, the docking area. So, time for Holy Bottle. And let's get it on! Let's do this. Nice finish there, Moses. I mean, Mosque. Sounds like something from Moss Burger, Mosque. If none of you know what that is, it's a famous restaurant in Japan uh, where we have Moss Burgers. And no, they are not covered with moss. But it is called Moss Burger. They're actually pretty tasty. It's kind of like having an onigiri inside of a burger bun, and there's different flavors and kinds. Very tasty restaurant. I wish they had them in other countries. Well, I guess they might, but I've never seen one except here in Japan. So let's just make sure we do a couple good fights here. <laughs> that was a failed high five if I ever saw one. Okay, this place is pretty big, as I recall. Ooh, an elixir. Definitely don't want to miss that. That might be the first one in the game, I think. I'll make sure to keep up the holy bottles. Just to make exploration a little less painful. Let's see what's down here. A dead end. Maybe it's time I quit my dead end job and just search for dead ends for the rest of my life. Or is it my job to find all the dead ends? Yep. It's a dead-end job, guys. I'm stuck in a dead-end job. Finding all the dead-ends in video games. Guess what? It's a dead-end. Big surprise. I wonder if I should start putting dead-end counters like I did in my East playthrough. Fortunately, as if by magic, you guys won't have to watch all the ridiculous battles I'm having to go through. You'll just get to see where all the goodies are. My goodness, yeah, this place is a little confusing. But I will make sure to show where all the goodies are, if there are goodies to be had. There's a chest over there, but I think I'll keep going this way. 
for the moment. Those big water walls look kind of cool. Kind of a giant water barrier that's magically held up. Another Climax bottle. I wonder if they use that in the underwater Gishki. Since Shirley was kind of embarrassed to explain about the rest of the ceremony. I guess it must be adult talk only. So we'll have none of that. Oh hey, a save point. Which means this is probably the way to go. So let me run back right quick and see what we missed. Actually, yeah, there's two chests there. And we need to flip this switch to open one of the doors to the boss. So let's go check it out. But first, let me uh, make sure this is a dead end with a water barrier. And let's run around and grab the chests we missed. And then, um, I'll just go ahead and jump back to the save point where we'll challenge the boss. Probably in the next episode. But don't worry about having to fast forward or watch walking through this place again. Because I'll just go ahead and jump to the save point and then straight to the boss. Let's see what we have here. A flare bottle a hard bottle which is the opposite of a soft bottle and magically all those chaotic zones just disappear Ooh. a miracle gumi not bad not bad I like walking around this place with epic dungeon music. I sense a dead end this way. Do oh, hate when I'm right. Okay, and so here's those two chests that we saw from the other side. Oh, well, I must be maxed on those. And an orange gummy. Gummy. Okay, guys, rather than walking all the way back, um, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and start at the save point, and we'll see what big boss we have to fight in this place. And, yeah, hopefully this time we'll rescue Shirley. So, want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Things are gonna heat up. Ja, minasan, matane!